Hello and welcome to this Pharos Designer screencast with me, Simon Hicks. The group presets in Designer are often overlooked in favour of their alluring matrix cousins, but they can be extremely versatile and produce some great effects. In this screencast I'm going to give you a tour of the colour chase preset. Let's start by adding an RGB LED fixture and duplicating it to create a row. Let's have 30 fixtures across. Then I'll add another fixture and duplicate it to create a circle with a radius of 200 and a count of 40. Let's zoom out so we can see all of those together. Now Designer automatically creates a group containing all the fixtures of a single type. But we want to program the line and the circle separately. So select all the fixtures in the line and click the new group button. We'll call this group line. And then we want to do the same for the circle. Select all the fixtures and click the new group button again. Call this one circle. Notice that the fixtures have been added in numerical order to each group. So 1 through to 30 for the line and 31 through to 70 for the circle. This order will be important later on. Notice the useful buttons at the top of the browser. This one allows you to collapse all the items in the tree and then this one lets you expand them again. Let's move on to the program view where you can add the color chase preset to the line group. Open the pop-up simulate window by going to the view menu and clicking tear off simulate or you can use the shortcut control F8. Click the start button to start previewing the effect which at the moment is just a snap between the colors. Set the timeline to holder end so you can mess around with the preset properties and continue to preview the effect in the simulate window. Let's start by changing the fade time. If I set it to 1, the hold time changes immediately to compensate and now the fixtures fade smoothly between the colours. Though in this simulation that you're seeing, it's slightly jerky because my computer is trying to do a screencast at the same time as simulate this effect. It's perhaps also worth pointing out that the simulation in Designer is it works at a maximum of 10 frames a second whereas the output from the controllers works at over 40 frames a second. Let's change the colors. I reduce the number of steps to 3 and click the first color block to start editing. I can stick in the values for a nice indigo color and then click OK when I've finished editing. Now I'll introduce an offset. Choose Spread from the Offset Style drop-down. This adds an offset to the effect that's applied to each fixture creating this continuous wave effect along the line. I mentioned earlier that the order of the fixtures in a group would be important. If I expand the line group and fiddle with the order of the fixtures by clicking and dragging, then you can see immediately down here that the order in which the offset has been applied has changed. The buddy property tells neighboring fixtures to work as if they're a single fixture. If I increase it to 4, then the fixtures start fading in blocks of four. You can make the effect repeat over sections of the group. Just put the section size into the repeat property. There are 30 fixtures in the row, so if I repeat the effect over every 10 fixtures, then you can see three color chases happening simultaneously. All these settings get more exciting when you apply the color chase effect to a group of fixtures that are laid out in a continuous shape, like a circle. If I copy the preset, and paste it onto the circle group. And I now have four color chases apparently happening continuously all the way around the circle. Probably would look better if I increase the repeat to 20, giving me just two color chases going around the circle. Finally, I'll create a chronometer like effect by increasing the buddy count to 5 dropping the repeat to all and setting the fade time to zero to give me a snap between the colors. Now this isn't quite giving me what I want because we've got three color steps and three doesn't go nicely into 40 which is the number of fixtures in the circle. So let's just fiddle the colors so we have four steps which now gives a solid block snapping around the circle. Or even 10 colors with a buddy of 4. 
to create a much more defined shape, a bit more like a second hand. Thanks for watching. Thank <laughs> you.